Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. So I have a product here you guys have been asking for a review on for a while now. This is the H Bandage by H&H. &H. This is a pretty cool pressure bandage. Uh, they're the same bandage here, just packaged a little bit different. We'll go over that in a few minutes. But I'm going to tell you when to use a pressure bandage, and we're going to open this one up and show you how to use the H Bandage. So in this video, we're going to use a pressure bandage on an arm or a leg that is bleeding minor to moderately okay this isn't the oh my gosh that's a lot of blood there's not blood squirting out you're like oh my gosh this guy's gonna die that's not this uh that's a tourniquet a pressure bandage is like ooh, that's a nasty cut but it's not really bleeding very much i can put direct pressure and control the bleeding so you put direct pressure on it and you control the bleeding now you can't keep your hand on there probably don't want to keep your hand on the wound for a while so you put a pressure bandage on it and that's where the H bandage is going to come into effect here. So this is for a moderate, I would say moderate bleeding that we can control with direct pressure with 5 by 9s or even the gauze pad that, come, that comes with it. Uh, but we can use that to control bleeding and we wrap it up and secure it. This is for an injury that does not need a tourniquet. So the H bandage comes two ways. You have a flat fold and a standard fold. The standard fold is really still not bad at all. This will fit in, I would say, the majority of your pouches that you're going to carry for an IFAC, so no big deal there. But the flat fold, man, I am super excited about that. Same width, but you can see how thin this is. Really excited about opening the flat fold up. On both of these packaging, you have multiple tear points. This is some super thick mill plastic here that you're not going to be able to tear it uh, in places that you don't already have tear tabs. So they've indicated the tear tabs that are outlined in black. So anywhere there's a black area, we can tear it open. So I'll show you here just to kind of other some other four inch bandages here because this H bandage is a four inch bandage. Just to kind of show you some size comparison. Here is the NAR four inch flat, so we can kind of hold it up to see the difference there. And then this is an Elias bandage here that's flat, so you can see there compared. Hold this one back up, get a little better shot of it for you. Fold over the plastic. So pretty, pretty similar to size there. All right, so let's open up, take a look what we have here. So I'll unfold it here. All right, so this is the part we're gonna wrap around the leg injury. This is our pressure plate here. All right, so here's the flat fold, the way it comes out of the packaging here. So once you get it unwrapped, same bandage, just the way it's folded, just a little bit different to get a little lower profile. So the absorbent pad here is seven and a half inches by four inches, and overall, the length of the bandage is four feet. Now that is unstretched. You can obviously stretch it, and it stretches out a lot longer. All right, so my buddy here has a really good laceration to his leg here. I would expose the injury, hold pressure, try to get the bleeding controlled. You could absolutely take the H bandage here and hold pressure yourself to get the bleeding to stop. This isn't an arterial bleed. This isn't a, oh my gosh, that's a lot of blood. Needs a tourniquet here. This is, ooh, that's a nasty looking cut. So put the bandage on and you want to pull this end here this way and then just get the bandage tight you have some velcro right here that's going to hold it in place come through the pressure plate you probably want to kind of hold the bandage in place that way you don't jerk it around okay that's going to pull one anchor point Come back through here. Come back through the pressure plate. They're again holding it and pull it back through. When you come back across, I would cover up the pressure plate here to kind of protect it. You've got some Velcro here that's gonna hold it in place. And you also have a clip here that's going to secure it. 
So when you finish up here, you've put pressure on this side and this side pulling it, which is going to put direct pressure onto our wound. And then you can use the Velcro and the clip to secure it. All right, so we'll take a little bit closer look here at the arm. Kind of, I'll go a little bit slower this time so you can see. So, abdominal pad goes over the wound. You've got this tail section here that has Velcro on it. So when we wrap it around, this is going to hold in place. So I hope that makes sense in the video. So I'll spin this around just so you guys can see a little bit better because it ends up it's on the back side of the arm. So. This, when we come around, is your Velcro that holds the bandage in place. So, if this was his injury, you've got that piece of Velcro there that's holding the bandage in place. There again, I hope that makes sense in the video. You've got your pressure plate here, so we come through it again. Hold the bandage so it doesn't slide around. Come back on the other side. We're going to go through the pressure plate again, hold it down, and then we're going to cover up the pressure plate here. You've got Velcro here that's going to hold it in place. So you really don't have to use the clip, but you can use the clip to kind of help secure it into place. I'll put a link down below where you can purchase the H bandage from us, Medical Gear Outfitters. So I hope this video helps. You never know when you'll be the first responder. Remember the right gear and the right training.